All right, we're here with uh, with Dave Lang from Iron Galaxy. How you doing, man? Doing well. How you doing? Good. It's uh, it's good to have you uh, in our space. Now we've we've come out and harassed you a couple of times. That's a good word for it. Uh, with yeah. regards to Racketeer, occasionally showing the game, usually not. <laughs> usually yeah. not. A lot of a lot of talk about Big Bo. Yeah. Um, which is, I mean, this it, it is a it's a very I guess it's technically a ballista. Yeah, ballista. Bal ballista. Or, or you know, it depends how marketing you want to get it. The marketing folk just like to call it a slingshot for obvious okay. reasons. But, sure. But I prefer yeah. ballista because you know it's a ballista. You're all about technical accuracy. Yeah. It's a big like bottom line. Look at it. Does that look like a slingshot? No, it looks like a big fucking crossbow. Excuse my language. It does. It does look like a big fucking crossbow. <laughs> all right, so good I, start. All right. Yeah. Let's all right. Go. All right. Selling this fucking game. <laughs> uh, you guys are gonna care about this whether you want to or not. <laughs> Look here, you piece of shit. No. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in here and start playing. Um, you know, why don't you walk me through a little bit of this as I'm doing it? So, so what am I trying to so aim thing, at here? Step forward a bit. Yeah, there you go. You put your hands together, grab it, and I'll pull back. Uh huh. So first thing, step side to side a little uh, bit. Okay. That's how you rotate it. Uh, you'll notice things that are highlighting. They glow yeah. a little bit. That means if you let go, then you'll probably hit it. So raise and lower your arms for pitch. So let's try to hit one of those 5Ks and go to the tower behind us. Those 5Ks are just extra bonus points, so drop your hands down a bit. Drop, okay. drop, 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 drop. Keep going, drop them. All right. You drop, drop them, yeah, there you go, 5K lights up. Just throw them out like oh, this. Oh, the five, okay, yeah, yeah. all right. And drop, yeah, right here? Yeah, there, there we go. go. Right. So when it's in the air, you can like wave your hand through it to put some English on it. All right, but I might yeah, not You're doing fine it. right there, so. That's looking good. Uh, uh. But yeah, we wanted to make a game where basically you don't just like point, shoot, and watch. Because all those stupid angry bird jokes aside, like one problem I have with that game is that you're watching it most of the time. Sure. And we want a game where you're like you're interacting, you're always playing it, you're never sitting there bored, right? And so. Uh, so it's like the Tiger Woods kind of. Yeah, exactly. Post, yeah. Post we, hit. We, we more like it's like. I'm just gonna keep talking about your game as it relates to other that's games fine, that's that the fine. ideas came you're, from. You're, you're well, you're a little traveled <laughs> company there. So uh, step forward again, close enough to grab it. Okay. A little bit more. There you go. Boom. So now, what is my goal in each in each level here? So your goal, specific... so you see that scoring bar off to the right there? Yeah. Uh, so there's, basically, if you want to advance, you just need to get the bronze medal, which you're almost up to there. Um, then there's just also silver and a gold medal, and those okay. are just to mark like higher point playthroughs. If you want to just kind of play through the game and see all the content, it's not super hard just kind of get in there and wreck stuff, but if you want to see the silver and the gold, you really need to kind of like understand how the scoring works. Wave it left once, get in there, tuck it up nice. So that dude is a hot goblin. If you hit him, he grabs the shot, and then he blows up when he hits something. Okay. So you can kind of like take him for a ride I'll for go through more. Yeah. Him and... and uh, right there, he's in a pretty obvious position. But on a lot of maps, there's kind of a, a risk reward to going for him. Like you might not be able to spring it back in time okay. if you're so you really, to, like, really good. Hit him and then make sure you're putting exactly. like a ton of English on. Yeah, him. I got it. Let's take out that tower on the right with the 5K. Okay, so you got the silver now, and then the gold's coming up there. So this map's really early on in the game. This is like level region two, map two. There's ten regions, mm -hmm. uh, sixty maps total. And then the regions have different like visual styles. Yeah, there's there's basically three different visual styles for the game. This is our summer look. We've got a winter, and then we've got a fall, which is kind of just like our just called the Mordor. It's like oh. dark and gloomy. Yeah. So you see, you getting points for waving. Oh, okay. So, so that's a good so like spamming waves. So a lot of times you want to like if you're trying to get the highest yeah, yeah, you possibly I can. It benefits you to aim off center oh, and, and then, then bring it back, back into it. Okay. There's a lot of shots that you need to hook or slice to line up properly later in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, we really reward good in midair in midair control. So this right here is the split shot. So what you can do with this one, Jeff, when it's in the air, you're gonna go like this, like a straight arm Y. Okay. And then it'll break apart and then so yeah, shoot it right in the middle of that wall. There you go. Let her go. Ooh, off there. Yeah. Break it out. Straight arms are yeah. Up. Oh. Arms up. Arms up. Let's try that again. Go left arm up, like mulligans. Go like this, hold like this. Hold it there. So now we're gonna use a mulligan. That's basically if like, something goes wonky, you can redo a shot. Okay. So I wasn't really watching you, but make sure you do like straight arm Y like this. Straight arm Y. Like, yeah. Like, like this kind of Y. Like elbow straight. Elbow straight. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Okay. Gotcha. One of the perils of skipping the tutorial. Now drop your hands down. So those kind of go where your hands go. So you can kind of use it to line up, stretch out wide. There you go. Okay. We see all those little bonus icons, like you've got the terrified one, you've got the max split. So those are bonus icons in the game. Those are kind of like, uh, once again, keeping it like other game comparisons. If sure. You, if you played Peggle, your long shot, kind of little Peggle. call out, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. So we give you uh, extra points for doing all of those. 
So basically, every time you uh, get a bonus icon, we don't we don't tell you about them beforehand. You kind of discover them when you're playing, mm -hmm. and as you kind of your gameplay evolves and you figure out like how to score more and more points, it goes from just kind of throw your right arm out like this, so like Dan Central style, go up to continue, and swipe. Um, you, the game kind of evolves from just like okay, I'm just going to shoot this and kind of like wreck stuff into planning out how to get as many bonus icons as you can mm -hmm. along the way to maximize your score. And that's kind of where like the high level skillful play okay. gets unlocked. Do you ever have like cases where there are things you shouldn't hit and you need to kind of wave around yep. it? Or? Yeah, if you want, there's like, this is a map has a good example of that actually. Let's just skip this, throw the right arm out, swipe. So there's that big castle in the background. So actually do this a little bit, like, like you're looking at something. If you so this is, okay. so it yeah, gives you a yeah. strategic overview of the map so you can kind of figure out your shots. Mm -hmm. So in this insta instance, you want to avoid these towers in the front and go for the big castle in the back. Okay. Collecting as many of the point icons as you can along the way. Got it. So, Give it a shot. So this one is the uh, flying shot. Um, basically when you activate it, mm -hmm. it pops wings and you just kind of bank it around like a bird. Okay. Arms above your head to climb, down to dive. And that's what I've got loaded right now? Yeah. Okay. This level is three, uh, three flying shots. All right. Then I want to avoid these front towers, yep. go for the stuff in the back. Yeah, got it. just launcher. Because once you pop the wings, yeah, there you go. Maybe at least aim for this 10K up front here. And so it's not going to light up. The flying shot doesn't light the targets up because ah. you can take it anywhere you want. Right. So it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense. You can pop the wings straight arm way. There we go. They don't actually have to bend your hips. You can just kind of lower your arms down. I just kind of want to, though. <laughs> So one of the quirks with the flying shot, it explodes on impact, and the faster it's going, the bigger the explosion. So if you will, like you can dive bomb your targets, you'll do more okay, damage. Okay, so you, yeah. wow. okay. You almost got that tower. This is All a good, right. e yeah. Cool, so that destruction multiplier, what that is, basically the more damage you do, the faster that climbs, and then that multiplier gets applied to every single scoring thing you do on your next shot, so like, Every wave, a wave's normally 150 points. In this case, now it's 450. Like right? bowling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so it starts to stack up in a hurry. Yeah, so if I can get it around and hit those towers this time. So what happens if I hit these towers up front? Oh, nothing. You just you won't. They just aren't. Yeah, you just okay. won't get as many points. High here. I drop him. The good thing to do on this map, you see how there's that wall like really close to the tower behind it? Yeah. If you can hit like but behind the tower Between the wall, the two and yeah, the tower will fall and the wall will come down too. So for this one, let's see if we can get the um, if we can grab the hot goblin on the way through. Because he'll grab it and take, you can take him for a ride, oh, right. then he'll make a bigger explosion. Okay. Alright. Yeah. How was it working with the Kinects? Was it, uh, this, this is your first time working no, on a Kinect game? No, this is our or? third game. Okay. So, well, this is our first game from scratch. Right. Uh, this is our third Kinect experience. So, we did, we helped the Phosphor guys with, um, straight out there. We, go. we helped the Phosphor guys with, um, Space Pop in Kinect Adventures. Oh, okay. Oh. And then based on the success of that work, the XBLA team kind of hooked us up to help Blind Wink out with Matter. Mm -hmm. they, they, the other game, the Gore Verbinski game they announced at E3. Right. Uh, we basically got that game to green light. And then kind of based on the strength of that work, they gave us an opportunity to kind of take our stab at our own game. Uh -huh. It's funny, this game started off, originally we started working on it in October of 2010. And it's supposed to be like six or eight months. They said, Here, here's a little bit of money. Mm. Take six or eight months, go get started. And a couple months in, they're like, oh, this is actually going to be really good. And then they kind of pushed all in on it, gave us all the time and money we needed. Oh, and cool. it's been tremendous working with yeah. them. Yeah. Awesome. And then, so, I mean, what's it been like working on something from scratch for, yeah, for it, the first time? It's, well, yeah, it's like the first time is Iron Galaxy. Yeah, you know, yeah, we yeah, all, yeah, yeah, from yeah. the days at Midway and yeah. wherever else we came from, yeah. But it's been uh, an interesting road for sure. Um, yeah, go up the swipe. Can, there you go. Because it's like all the stuff you, when we started off, like the first, I think, 12 employees were all programmers. Then we got our art director. Then we started getting some producers. And then it's like we had the opportunity to do this. When we got the opportunity to work on this, Did you we didn't have shop? any designers. What? 
And so it's like, is an art form, we, son. Uh, how do you solve it that? And how do like, you know, I was you formally a programmer. Wrecking. I don't know how to hire a designer. Right. So it's like figuring all that out and just kind of like going through it one step at a time. So you didn't just say like, I'll just design it myself. Oh my God. I, you like know, that, I didn't live the dream, so yeah. to speak. Right. Uh, you know, your limitations and all that. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, no, it's been amazing. And uh, I look forward to doing more stuff like this in the future for sure. So is that the the plan? I mean, because you, you, you guys still do a lot of work on, on yeah. Like, like, like we like, just announced Marvel vs. Origins right. Capcom. Yeah, we so still it's do like a kinda... lot of that stuff. Uh, like, we're still gonna do the firefighting. We kind of want to do everything now. So yeah. real quick before you get into it, so that bomb icon right there, that yeah. red. So what that does, it gives any shot the property of the bomb shot. Okay. So if you go through that icon into the wall behind it, yeah. It'll those and those red things in the wall are satchel charges. Got it. So it'll set off like a chain reaction of those charges, and the whole wall comes out. Okay. Yeah, no, we definitely want to do more original stuff. Um, we've got some more ideas we want to hit, not just for connecting for some other stuff too. Nice. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of like once you get the taste for blood. Right. You know, right. we must we kill again. Stuff. We, yeah, we, to... we must kill again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this one's a flying shot. Do you want me to tell you where to shoot at, or you just want to kind of like freestyle it? I'll just kind of freestyle and kind okay. of figure it out. I'm so gonna, what I'm I... gonna boo you when you do stupid All right, stuff. Good. Is that cool? Can I have a flying bomb shot? I, think I, you know, I don't think it... you want to know. I thought you kind of want to just freestyle and try stupid All stuff. All right, fine. Yes, All right, you, fine. Yeah, you well, then fine. I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can totally do that. All right. Just a flying shot. I'll get there. Goblin with the bunny ears is trouble. Okay, so we got six shots total in the game. We got the basic, the flying, mm -hmm. the split, which we've seen. Uh, we got a bomb shot, which you can like activate and it blows up. Okay. Uh, we got these... like like in midair. Yeah, okay. midair. Uh, we got a split shot, which kind of takes off like a bullet. And then we got the lift shot, which is kind of like really big and really heavy. So this is another basic shot. Um, so yeah. Hmm. This seems dicey. So let's try some waving here. Let's take your left hand. Yeah, wait. There you go. And then you'll probably, yep, just clear the wall nice. Yep, that'll work. Not bad. Nice. All right. Um, yeah, and the lift shot's cool because it's super, I'll show you one of these maps later. Uh, super big, super heavy. It doesn't go very far, but when you activate it, it gets like a lift forward and up. And you can kind of like skip it like a stone to the target. You can activate okay. it multiple times. This tower. You can get that dude, then go into that back tower stuff. Yeah. Back. Actually, I think Ben. Yeah, Ben Over's actually hurt you in this case. Because... There you go. Oh, I reached so far. <laughs> <laughs> that limber. So he'll kind of. Yeah, you got him. All right. <clears throat> he'll spam some waves. Just fracture wave and get, rack up the points. You wouldn't think he'd be so happy about that, about going, propelling to his doom. That's the thing about goblins and stuff like that. Stupid They're hot just goblins. out of their mind. They're just like, I just want to die, man. Finally, sweet release of death. <laughs> All right. See, I got gold already. Yeah, you got a couple of like, whatever. Here. This is just freestyle. That five would be tricky five. to get. And hit the tower. Yeah, I'm actually lining up here. You don't want to wave up, you can try to get it way up fast. But bring it left over, left over. Luckily, you already had gold. I already had gold, <laughs> so you know. It's cool. Mind if I uh, jump in and show you no, some, yeah, go some, ahead. some of the harder maps? Yeah, let's, let's see cool. something, something rougher. Blam! Get me connected. There we go. Well, I'll walk through this screen too, real quick here. Uh, the screen's pretty neat. So, if we're online right now uh -huh. uh, and you had friends with the game, um, it would show you. It, it basically, I was always comparing you trial style to your friends, and here it would do it on a shot by shot basis. Uh, so you can kind of see, like, oh, for the first shot I was with him, then the second shot he shot out way ahead of me. He must have been right. something totally different there. And then how, how many friends will just show like kind of like your your closest? We'll show you the friend uh, directly ahead of you. Okay. And then there's there's other like leaderboards where it shows the one ahead of you and the one below you. Cool. Um, and on that scoring bar on the side, uh, it'll put little carrots in there of like, hey, you know, uh, 
uh, giant bombing is here or whatever. Right. Uh, so let's skip to... This is not a late game map, but this is one that you can kind of really exploit for a lot of points. And it's got the lift shot, which we haven't seen yet, mm. so we'll do that. Cool. So, the, I mean, obviously it's, it's out pretty soon here, so you're... July 25th, it's, it's, yeah. It's completely done. Yeah, right? we, we passed is... CERT Sunday. Okay. So we are uh, now just kind of sweating it out and waiting to hear how everyone hates it. It's going to be awesome. I'm really <laughs> looking forward to it. <laughs> what, is, what is the pressure like uh, on that, being that this is the first original Iron Galaxy game? You know, I'm no matter what happens, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's tons of fun, and if nothing else comes from it, uh, I, I'll always feel good about this. Um, so I'll kind of shoot off here and kind of spam waves. But, uh, you know, I think it's got an uphill battle with like the kind of traditional like Metacritic stuff, you know. That's there seems it. to be like a connect tax. Uh -huh. And uh, then also just, you know, discounted games just kind of get discounted That's a little bit, or ticket. downloadable games get discounted too a bit. Oh, did I blow that? Great. My chance to be shine and I totally bone it up. Do we not have any more mulligans? Jesus no. I didn't even get the mulligan. I'll just let it go. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll play through the pain. Um, well, you're also, I mean, you're the, the only $10 game in the Summer of Arcade, yeah, right? Yeah. I think that'll help a ton. Like, if you have any doubts about giving it a shot or whatever, maybe if they've been burned by Connect once or twice, uh -huh. um, I think that'll definitely push it past the edge for me to give it a shot. And also, you know, every game on XPLA has a demo, so you can always check it out too, right? right? So. But, uh, what you know, was that process like? Of, I mean, was it pretty straightforward? Just like, we'll just have the first area be in the demo and that's it? Or no, was there a lot of it's, uh, it's argument a lot about of, that? It's a lot of meetings um, because there's people who, you know, basically feel the demo is critical to the success of the game. Uh -huh. And there's other people who are like, no, like, I never play a demo. I just know what I want ahead of time already and I go check it out. Yeah, it's so kind you work of like, in this business, so of course you yeah. do that. It's so kind of like figuring out exactly where to draw that line. Yeah. Um, it was a number I was actually trying to get out of Microsoft for a while was the number of people who didn't bother downloading the demo and just yeah. went straight to purchase. Because I do that, but I'm always buying stuff for work. Yeah, my personal belief is that that number's really high, higher than you guess. Mm. Um, but it's just that personal belief. I'll get this dude nuts. I'll spam some waves here. Uh, it's nice. like, th that's the whole thing is like too. It's like kind of getting back to like what has it been like to work on this. I guess the word is like surreal. You know, it's like we right. go from like working on like awesome games like Third Strike or Scribble Knots Remix or whatever that are really fun, but like not the same difficulty as like making something from scratch. You know? Yeah. It's like it, and, in those cases, you're like you're coming in like you, we need you to perform this very specific task. Yeah. And to go fast. from yeah and do it well, and that's like kind of what we're known for is doing that stuff really well. But to go from there to kind of like this and then get all the recognition we have of like, okay, you're in some of Arcade, and you were, yeah. we got to like two and a half minutes of the key. Yeah, I mean, I heard you stole Rock Band Blitz's spot. We had to, so buddy. That's... You know, first, for, that's not all in Steel No Drakes. You better watch <laughs> out. Um, yeah, just kind of like, you know, be up on stage with like Halo and Call of Duty. Sure. It's like, we'll, that'll never happen to us again. Right? That's like, how many develop, how many great games were there that weren't on stage? Like a billion, sure, right? Yeah. Like, the odds of that happening again are so small. And so I'm just trying to soak it all in and just kind of like looks enjoy the moment. Like the town I grew up in, which I'm really good at. <laughs> yeah, I'm really good at just kind of just letting Just kind of hanging, hanging yeah, back you know, and just, just let it happen. out and having fun. Yeah, we're pretty good. Yeah, like, you know, I don't worry about every little detail and I don't freak out at all. So it's pretty <laughs> natural for me when you... <laughs> <laughs> so this one, this is the lift shot. Oh, she's yeah. So this one's a little, this is a very, very late game map and it requires a ton of waving and kind of control. So we'll pop this 10K into the speed icon and this gives it a boost forward. Get these other icons. Easy, all right. And then we'll pop it at this 10K and bring it back over. So this is the kind of stuff that I think will appeal to people like me and you, people that are like really, really into games and challenge. Because uh -huh. this stuff uh, gets hard. And frankly, like this game would be worse with controller. This is like not connect for Kinect's sake. This is not like, uh, something that's like, oh, we took a game that we really liked and then crammed on Kinect. This is something it seems like with, with Kinect, it would be, or without it, it would be just really straightforward. Yeah, it'd be like, like, push the button and I lost the shot, and then right. It's like I, I really like, stick. Like I think pain is fine, but it'd be like pain, and if it's like, sure. and there's no need yes. for it to exist, right? Yeah. So, uh, I think that's the thing I'm proudest of. Well, I'm proud of a lot of things, but one of them is just that I think we made a game ass game for Kinect. You know, yeah. it, it works, and uh, don't make any excuses for it. Yeah. Get this air 
So there's one fun thing to do with the flying shot. If you get close to something without hitting it, you get the Negative ghost yeah, right the daredevil bonus pool. icon. And that's another way to rack up points. So it's like, once again, the game kind of goes. As you get more familiar with it, it changes from kind of like just pointing and shooting to figuring out how to get as many of those as you can along the way, right? Uh -huh. Oh, there's one thing I gotta show you. So I'll show you one more after this All one right. real quick. Okay. No, I'd be remiss if I didn't show you. Yeah, earlier you were saying almost went to Evo. Yeah. Gotta go to Evo. Evo so fun. It was. Yeah, you know, it's, it always is so soon after E3 that you need to start thinking about it that yeah. I always think like, man, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to hide out in a dark room. Right. After E3, like I don't want to go anywhere where there's people or talking or. Or anything. So, you know, it's always real last minute. So it was like Monday of last week that I was just like, oh man, yeah. I should just go. Uh, but then like, all the registration was closed and I didn't want to be the dick yeah, that just yeah. shows up and goes, hey man, I'm here for Evo. I Check didn't fill out. out shit. I'm too cool to fill out the forms. Yeah. So, yeah. so that kind of. And then I ended up actually, I didn't watch any of the streams. Uh, and I think I'm the just. Marvel was so hype. Marvel was so good. I think I just, I, I'm, I'm ready for some new stuff. Yeah, like the, and I thought it was interesting that they only streamed Street Fighter Cross Tekken. They only streamed the finals. Yeah, like there was it, that game was kind of nowhere. Yeah, that, that entrance is low well turnout on the entrance for sure. Yeah. yeah, and then I heard even a lot of the people that entered just didn't show up for the pools. Right. Yeah. So uh, it's a bummer. But you know, I, I think yeah, I, I, you know, maybe next year once Injustice is out, you know, yeah. assuming it's out by by Evo time, uh, you know, that'll be at least one new thing there. Ah, wrecked it. Tekken Tag Two will probably be well. They, they already did. Are they, they already doing Tekken Tag no, Two? No, it's, it's, it's not released yet. Uh, they just did like a. They're not going to put in. They're not going to bring in arcade cabinets. No, they just did like yeah. a demo. As far as I know. Right. Anyway. Yeah, just demo and stuff. And then the Persona, uh, Persona Four Arena will be. Obviously I mean, you know, I'm not. I'm not in the like Blaze Blue at all. But for some reason, that Persona game. Like, well, I, yeah. I, I mean, we ended up. Me and Vinny are quite large Persona Four fans. Yeah. It just kind of. Why ended is that, up that exactly? Way. I, I don't. I don't know. It's just this weird thing. It's this weird thing where anytime anything with Persona happens anywhere, a hundred people write in and ask me what I think about it, and I'm just like, I don't. What are you? Right? I don't. You realize I kind of don't like any of the other <laughs> games in this franchise, right? Like, it's just, um, yep, this is it. So yeah, so I, we ended up playing some of that at E3, and I don't. I don't know, man. Like, like, like yeah. you, I don't like Blaze Blue much at all. So this, it, it seems like it plays sort of like that, but maybe yeah. different enough to to work. Like, it's almost got that like JoJo's thing of your persona as the stand. Yeah. Or yeah. some JoJo's or something, so I, I wonder, you know, if that's going to be cool. Okay, so now back to this real quick. All right. Put that evil hot talk on pause. So that red thing is, you know, it's a bomb icon, uh -huh. and here I've got a bomb shot. So just for you guys, when you put a bomb shot into a bomb icon, well, that's... Rocks with heavy drops. <laughs> So you get the you get the giant bomb bonus icon. Then we got like six or seven different audio calls. Wow, so, that's uh, that's, that's pretty that's awesome. Our homage to You'll you be guys. hearing from the CBS legal team. Well, it, technically, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but no, this is uh, yeah, this is Records here. It's out uh, July twenty fifth. We're super cool. happy with it. Uh, we think if you guys give it a shot, you'll love it. Um, Drop a bomb so, on it. <laughs> were you actually? <laughs> So, I mean, you had, did you have this at Evo? Did you ever like, no, no. squirreling people away? Like, yo man, you gotta check this. I know you like, look, it's not a fighting game, but come on, come on, come on. Let's no, play Reketeer for money. And, uh, have you played Reketeer for money yet? We have in the office. Okay, all right. Yeah, we, we, did, we, do, uh, we did actually for stakes. Okay. So we say, take, take the build home with you, me and some designers or whatever. Uh -huh. Whoever has the highest score across all the maps over the course of the weekend, battle them for stakes. <laughs> and of course, the, uh, the bastard who lost hasn't paid you yet. So Kurt That's... Tillman's, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Bastard. Well, you gotta wait for all the you know the racketeer money to come in, and then he. Once can we get that racketeer to... check, son, yeah. <laughs> give me that. Stack that racketeer grip. Blam, 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 blam. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Thanks cool. for coming Thank out. Cool. Thank you, dude. Good Fun. to see you. Yeah. See ya.